it was the headline we've been waiting for. NASA finds water on Mars. So how excited should we be? Well, I'm gonna go with a very, but here's why it's so cool. Scientists have known there was likely some kind of small scale water cycle going on for years, but they just didn't have the proof. In fact, it was just last spring that Curiosity rover found signs that thin layers of super salty water could form and evaporate. But all we had was a smoking gun, no water until now. So where'd they find it? Well, Mars has had these interesting looking dark streaks on the slopes of its mountains and craters. For the past five years, scientists have been studying these lines, lines that do look like water running downhill, using the Mars Reconnaissance Orbiter Satellite. It was when scientists noticed that these lines were changing that they knew they were onto something. The streaks formed during the Martian summer, and then they shrink during the Martian winter. Well, it turns out these streaks appear in salt deposits. The salt significantly lowers the freezing point of water so that when temperatures get up around minus 23 degrees Celsius, the NASA team was able to actually detect water molecules in the salts using infrared signatures of the dark spots. Some of these dark streaks get up to 10 meters wide in the summer. So to be fair, NASA found hydrated salts of which water is a necessary component. Now we're not talking flowing streams of water, we're talking tiny quantities between grains of soil so we can really only see it from the surface. The next step, figure out exactly where the water is coming from. Perhaps there's a lot of water underground in the form of ice or salt aquifers, or perhaps the traces we're seeing is just the salt sucking up a bit of moisture from the Martian atmosphere until they have enough to run downhill. Either way, we're getting to see water at work for the first time ever. I know what you're thinking. Doesn't water equal life? Well, it's a good start to see if perhaps microbial matter exists. And in fact, researchers noted that on Earth, the only refuge for active microbial communities in the driest parts of our deserts happen in these brine setups. And it's exactly why we can't send the Curiosity rover over to investigate. Wouldn't want any earth bugs that the rover might be carrying to contaminate our first contact. And now, you're Science Smart. If you've got a science question, send me a tweet and I'll try to get it answered.